Today's topic. Yo, I seen a post where it was like, oh, if you want to take me out, he got to pay for my babysitter. Why should my baby daddy and me got to pay for my babysitter when you don't want to take me out? What? I'm not going to ask a n to be, oh, pay for my babysitter. I'm mm. expecting you to know to do that for me. Like, if I'm like, oh, like, I would go out with you, but I can't find a sitter. It's up to you to be like, yo, I really want to take this girl out. I'm about to pay for her babysitter. Mm -hmm. So if I notice that you didn't think to do something like that or you ain't trying to, like, work around that in whichever way. Put that, that I'm front. not, yeah, yeah, that I'm not messing with you. But I'm like, re and I'm telling you, real, uh, like, women who live this lifestyle, <laughs> they're not saying it. They're expecting it. And then they weed you out accordingly. Okay. And that's the way it should be done. Well, I'll read you out accordingly too, because if you got kids, I ain't fucking <laughs> with you. <laughs> I got a question. Who raised y'all? Most women actually, because they're single mothers, they have a certain way of thinking about men, so they don't want to rely on men. Most women are not like that. I'm pretty sure that most women are not like that. But there's that little percentage of, you know. There was one girl who said, I expect it, but I would never ask for it. You guys already know this about me. I would never ask for the money or ask a yes. man to pay for my children. I would never ask because I'm just <laughs> way too prideful. I would never ask. I would never ask for anything. Why wouldn't you ask for it? Because I got too much pride. Oh, you're too proud to ask for something that you feel you deserve? Maybe it's because you feel shame because you recognize it's a shameful thing to ask for. Do you guys have no shame? No. No, you brought a child into this world, you go on a first date, and you expect them to pay potentially for the food of the child yep. and the babysitter. It's just an indication of like how a lot of women want to live life on easy mode. People just be hollering at people in DMs like, you trying to buy me a Gucci bag? You trying to spend money on me, Poppy? Do you guys have no shame? Do you have... No shame. It's a stranger. And then you got other people on the other side like, well, if you're trying to date a single mom, you need to be, bitch, it's the first date. Yeah, if you're trying to date me, you got to meet my parents right away. What? Why is your dad sitting beside you at this table right now? That's the same logic. Yeah, well, if you're trying to, then you need to buy that dad uh, new crutches because that nigga old and that's part of the family package. Ah, but it's just a Happy Meal. It's not about that. It's not about $5. It's not about It's how the principle. It's the prince. Yeah. It's, it's just, your child. How do you show up on a date? Your hair done, your looks all done, but your kid is not fed. In my head, I'm like, your priorities are trash. Why don't you just cancel the date and take care of your important stuff, which is your child being fed, rather than relying on somebody that you haven't met yet. It's crazy. It's like, I guess some browsers live on easy mode so hard that they don't even have to put their best foot forward. They just take a dookie in their hand and they throw it on the table like the first step. That's what they doing. <laughs> Say that again. Yo, they just take a dookie in their hand, they throw it on the floor and they're like, first step. <laughs> Alimony, baby. <laughs> Alimony, baby. And, and they just like, I'll take that shit. I'll take that shit. I'll take that shit. Okay. After the last video we did, I'm not gonna lie to you, that just shocked me so much. I didn't realize that was like a thing that people just think. Oh, it's a thing. I've dated single moms before. Not one iota of that kind of stuff ever surfaced. They never like, you're trying to meet my kids. They was never rushing me. They was never being like, can you pay for this? They handled their business. I so understand. for me, and I never looked at them sideways. But I, I could never imagine. I understand. You know what I mean? Thing. It's not everybody. I wouldn't even say that is the majority of people <laughs> that go like that. But I'd say a good 30% of people 30 to 20%, <laughs> which is big. Where'd you get those numbers from? From, from uh, imadeitup.com? From being a bouncer and hear people in conversation in line. There's a lot of things that you hear in conversation in line of how people think oh, yeah. when you can't let them outside inside the club yet. You know what I mean? And then you start talking or you just listen and you're just like, wow, that dumb <laughs> you said right there is the reason I'm not going <laughs> to let you in the club. That, <laughs> that dumb is yeah. that dumb shit. I expect you to pay for the babysitter? So, yes, yes. So I'm late, girl. Hey, listen, the guy didn't even want to. So I dropped him. Like, I had to. Yeah, I heard that. Yeah. Where were you? Oh, my God. He didn't even want to pay for the babysitter and stuff like that. So we had to argue. So he left. So I had to bring my kids to my. I'm not saying it's the majority <laughs> of people. Like, yo, listen, I already said this. If I ask a girl on a date, I'm going to pay for the dinner. Whether it's a 30 dinner, $30, $100, i like, am fine with that. That's like, I wanted to do that experience with this person. That's cool. But the idea of the child and me paying and you springing on me, like, it sounds crazy to me. Pay for her. Pay for her uh, babysitter. But what do you mean? What do you mean I'll pay for a babysitter? 
Who, who, who is this babysitter? How much do they cost? Do I get a tax slip? Like, what are we talking about right now? That sh it's, crazy, it's just, bro. It's just, yeah, but it, it, like I said, it's a small percentage. It's crazy. That's nuts. You know what I mean? Like, if I showed up on a date with a bit of B, I'm like, nigga, I fucked this shit up. You that took that a dookie in your hand and threw it on the floor, yep. and you like, that's that. Taking the aromas, that's and right. you don't care. And you like, if you don't like the way the poop smells, you cut from the team. If you can't smell the poop, my dookie, then you can't be about this relationship because I'm gonna take dookies in this bathroom. You know what's wild? Is they justify, oh, we traditional women, we wanna be taken care of. Bitch, even in the Middle Ages, they took showers before they showed up to the date. How is your dirty, stank ass in the Middle Ages? No, they didn't. What you talking about? No, they didn't. What you talking about? They didn't shower. You get the point. Hold up, nobody showered. You get the point. They put their best foot forward. Uh, okay. Right? When you're going to set up an arranged marriage or anything like that, you're putting, yes. nigga. Perfume on the thing. Okay? Okay. Right? They put their best, like, they're not just okay, going to show you. up. I got you. And they'll I be like, you. this is me and my five bastards. You like, you know what I mean? Why was your leg up? <laughs> nigga. Because that's how I feel what like. The a, a, Why the f*** was your leg up? Why am I buying a $4 Happy Meal? <laughs> What? No, no, nigga. I'm triggered, bro. I'm triggered. <laughs> nah, bro. Nah, nah, Why nah. You nah, nah, nah. Because, up. because, no. You know what they said? Uh, modern day. Uh, listen, women, we making cheddar. We living our best life. I N D E P. But you paying for the date? I was like, you know what? I asked you out. Okay, I concede that. Why was your leg up? Nah, 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 nah. I conceded that. I said, you know what? I asked you out. I'm gonna pay. And he's like. Man, she wants some chicken nuggets and some fries. <laughs> we understand that. No, no, no. I don't, I don't, we hey, man, that's crazy. Why, okay, I mean, whatever. That's crazy. And he's like, hey, man, I got a babysitter. I'm like, bitch, how many bills are we adding on this motherfucker? It's the first day. Am I paying for the four-year-old TikTok bill? It's like, very, very, Am I paying for her TikTok very, bill? Very, Do they have TikTok bills? I don't think they have TikTok bills. Yeah, but, but, but her four-year-old sure. needs to be entertained oh, while she's God. with me. Nah, bro. What are we talking about? It's like first it was a meal. Now I gotta pay for your kid's meal. Then I gotta pay for the babysitter. What am I paying next? Yeah, well, what am I paying next? What's next? For college fund, nigga. Like, what are we talking about? Nah, you bro. Know, this baby gonna go to college. Nah, bro. So you better get about this. You know what I mean? What it's happened a, to treating like a first date almost like a job interview in the sense that you come forward with your like, bet you know your nice outfit. You wear your perfume. That, bro, you you, bro. you know you try you to know, look you know presentable. Is, you know I don't is, know. I don't is, know. This is this is really like a come get me attitude. Do everything in all the steps. It's entitlement. It's being entitled. Sure. And it's not everybody. It's a small percentage. But that on that part, motherfucker gonna be like yeah you know what all you need to pick up all my fuck up to get with me because you're gonna keep on picking up picking up my fuck ups but at the end of the day it's not everybody i'm telling you 25 to 30 percent but it's, it's like god damn like you know what i also realized when i saw this i'm like man why do black folks gotta be so goddamn messy on social media bro am i crazy no i said it yo listen that's messy that's okay. A, that's a whole mess. Why is your window wide open and everybody on the street can see into your room? You're, you're Clean that mean, bitch up or you close mean, your curtains. You mean why is your window <clears throat> open and we can see to the floor? We can see to, to the wall. To the sweat go down your balls. Bruh. Pause. I don't know, man. All them bitches cry. And people was defending that shit. I was just like, oh my God, bro. You nah, bro. Dolls keep, 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 motherfucker. Dolls keep, 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 keep. I guess, I guess dating's changed. Maybe I missed a, missed a boat or two. I never seen no you stuff like that. Missed a boat or two? I, listen, I've been on some... Went, the last no, time no, no, on no, no, no. I've been on some interesting dates. And it's not been that long. But this? Never. That's a... That, yeah, that's a thing. Seems. I think that if it was something like that, there would be other things... There would be other things that before you even get to the date, you talking to the, the person, there would be other things that makes you drop her so you wouldn't have gone to the date. That's probably why. The pre-screening, your pre-screening is pretty strong. So I don't think that that would happen. There's other things that would have happened that you would you would have dismissed it. So that's I think that's a reason why you are not aware or you didn't encounter that. So that being said, there's some guys that are going to be like, well, why do I attract all the, uh, the same kind? Or even women are going to say, why do I always attract? Yeah, no, you don't attract. You let people in. Hmm? All right. And that's pretty much it. So maybe you don't even let 
people like that in and that's why you didn't know that existed i just i don't know listen i was raised by a single mother so i just could never imagine her doing the stuff like she just had so much pride and she handled her business and she worked hard and it made me respect her despite it not being an like ideal environment like she did her thing i don't know if i would have looked at her with respect if she out here trying to fleece niggas for food and 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 money for her baby so like Mm. I don't know. I don't know. Just some y'all, some y'all need to, to to know what it means to be ashamed. Sh some shame is good. Game of Thrones. We need to walk some people through the street and just yell shame at them. Want what? It's, it's, that's just in, in Creole. Yo, what? So, what want? What want? That's crazy. Say what to want. Hey, hey, you know, like I said, maybe I missed some. Y'all can let me know. This, but I just can't believe what I'm seeing.